Whether you hate me or whether you love me, I have lived my entire life like a rock star. I mean, I'm not even just I'm not even just saying it to say it, it's the truth. Even when I was young, like I'll give you an example, I was 13 years old. I used to teach piano lessons. It was easy work for me. I love to teach the piano, you know, I still do it today. Um I would make like three, four hundred dollars a week in cash. Can you believe that? At 13 years old. You know how much money that was for a kid 13? I used to go to Vitali's Italian restaurant at McDonald Avenue in Brooklyn. They had either the $9.99 dinner. I mean, it was the most cheapest dinner, but my God, Minkia. Forget about the food that they gave you. You would never believe it for $9.99. But I would always go for the one for $19.99 because they also gave you the wine. They gave you the dessert, the cappuccino, you know, the cheese, Italian cheesecake. Oh, my own. Forget about it. It was delicious. So I was still eating out and partying like five, six days a week, sometimes seven days a week. Um, at 13 years old, <laughs> it's crazy, right? And I've been living this way my whole life. Like, you know, when I met my uh, girlfriend, Jennifer, now she's my wife. I took her out to every restaurant you could imagine. We went to everywhere, everywhere. I, I, we went to five-star restaurants. We went to, you know, regular average restaurants. But the thing is, we're always eating and we're always having fun. And, was, and we're always partying. And nobody understands how I do it. My own father, may he rest in peace. He's like, I don't understand. He goes, I get a pension, you know, from the fire department. <laughs> he was, my father was a fire dispatcher. He goes, I, I, how do you, I can't do this. How do you do it? How do you eat out every night? It's just, I don't know. You know, I just was able to always do it. I was always able to do it. I was a great salesperson. I made money. Even though you won't break my chops, you have no idea. I'm an amazing salesperson. I could sell ice to an Eskimo. Forget about it, okay? But the thing is, even when I was, I'll give you an example. When I was working at my sales job, like City Search, I had, the, the point of the job was I had to go to restaurants. I, I loved it, you know? And I had to sell restaurants, advertising packages. But because I was from City Search, I'll be there. And while I'm talking to like the manager, they're like, can we get you a bite to eat? Can we get you a drink? I said, absolutely. So I'm sitting, <laughs> even on my job, I'm sitting down. My manager's calling me, Judy. She's like, Richie, what's taking you so long? I said, listen, I said, I got a big account here. I said, you know, let me do my thing. She's like, okay. Little does she know, I'm eating a porterhouse steak. I'm drinking two or three beers. This is my job. So I never really worked hard in my life. I've always had fun. I've always done things on my own terms. And as for as long as I'm going to be on this earth, that's what I'm planning on doing. But the thing is, I want to share this. I want to share this with all of you. I want to share this with everybody. I, I Really what my dream is, and I'm, that's why I got to work really hard on YouTube, is I want to get to a point where I could just go nationwide. I could eat at every amazing restaurant. And you know what? I want to be like Brewster's Millions, you know, Richard Pryor. I want to start buying meals for my eight brothers, my eight sisters, for everybody. And, I, I, and, and maybe we'll see, maybe we'll do like food challenges and stuff. See how much you can eat. See if you can out eat me. But, um, you know, it's just, that's the way I want to live. I, you know, some people are miserable. I'm not a miserable person. One thing about me. I'm a happy guy. Look at the smile on my face. Of course, I live the life that I want to live like a rock star.